Picture this. You're standing at the gas pump, faced with a dilemma that could ignite a fiery catastrophe or leave you stranded on the side of the road. It's the moment of truth, and you find yourself asking, what happens when you put the wrong fuel in a car? Buckle up, my friend, because we're about to embark on a wild ride through the consequences of fuel folly, uncovering the secrets that lie beneath the hood. Welcome fellow adventurers and fuel enthusiasts to a video that will fuel your curiosity and ignite your imagination. Today in Car Computer Exchange, we're delving into the fascinating realm of what happens when you put the wrong fuel in your car. From engine knock symphonies to costly repairs, we're about to uncover the untold tales of fuel mix-ups and their jaw-dropping aftermath. So. Fasten your seatbelts, prepare for a bumpy road, and join us on this fuel fuel journey where gas tanks and diesel engines collide. Get ready to explore the thrilling world of automotive mishaps and the lessons we can learn from them. It's time to fuel your knowledge and embark on an adventure like no other. When it comes to fuel, it's not just a matter of one type fits all. There is a whole world of numbers involved and they hold the key to understanding what happens when you put the wrong fuel in your car. In the United States, you'll often come across three common numbers, 87, 89, and 92. In other parts of the world, such as Europe, the numbers may vary, with 91, 95, and 98 being the norm. But what do these numbers really mean? These numbers actually represent the octane rating of the fuel. Octane rating is a measure of how well gasoline resists knocking during combustion. You see, knocking refers to the unwanted rattling sound that can occur when the fuel air mixture in the engine ignites prematurely or unevenly. Higher octane fuel is designed to resist this knocking, providing smoother combustion and better performance. Now, let's talk about how higher or lower octane fuel interacts with different engines. Surprisingly, if you have an older car, you're in luck. Most older vehicles are relatively flexible when it comes to the type of fuel they can handle. If your car's user manual states that you can use any fuel including 87, then the practical difference between 87 and 92 octane fuel will be minuscule. Under normal conditions, the two are basically the same. Opting for 92 may slightly reduce carbon emissions and improve fuel consumption but it won't make a significant difference. However, things change when your car's manufacturer explicitly states the required octane rating. Different cars have different needs, and you need to pay attention to those needs. For most older cars, the basic 87 fuel does the job just fine. If you have a newer vehicle, it may require mid-grade 89 fuel for optimal performance. And if you're cruising around in an elite or sports car, chances are you'll need premium 92 gasoline to keep that powerful engine purring. Now that we understand the octane ratings, let's explore how they interact with different cars. As mentioned earlier, older cars are generally more flexible when it comes to fuel types. Whether you pump 87 or 92 into your older vehicle, you and your car won't feel much of a difference. The practical impact is minimal. However, if your car's manufacturer specifies a particular octane rating, it's crucial to adhere to those requirements. Ignoring the recommended octane rating can lead to trouble. The dreaded knocking sound can become an unwelcome symphony, and your engine might not start as smoothly as it should. This happens because the fuel air mixture in the engine combusts too early due to the lower octane rating potentially causing damage over time. It's worth noting that the damage caused by using the wrong fuel is not immediate. You might be able to drive for weeks before encountering any noticeable issues. Modern cars often have protective systems in place to minimize the damage from lower octane fuel, softening the knocking effect. So, in an emergency situation where you're stuck with no other option than 87 fuel, you can safely use it but it's not a practice you should abuse in the long run. In addition to avoiding potential engine damage, using the recommended octane rating can also benefit your car's overall condition and reduce emissions. Higher octane fuel tends to be cleaner, helping to keep your engine running smoothly and minimizing environmental impact. Alright folks, it's time for a pit stop in our fuel field adventure. 
But before we continue exploring the captivating world of Octane Ratings, let me check in with you. Are you feeling charged up with knowledge so far? Or are you still trying to figure out if Octane Ratings are rocket science? Let me know in the comments below. And don't worry, we'll keep the engine of information roaring as we dive deeper into the fuel-fueled mysteries that await us. So buckle up and let's rev back into action. But why do some cars demand higher octane fuel in the first place? Well, my friend, we're venturing into the realm of supercharging, turbocharging, and higher compression ratios. These features enhance an engine's performance, creating a power-packed ride. However, they come with a catch. They require the right fuel to function smoothly. Imagine trying to launch a rocket with damp fireworks. It just won't reach its full potential. Similarly, these high-performance engines need higher octane fuel to prevent the dreaded knock and keep everything running like a well-oiled machine. Now, here's where things get interesting. What happens when you disregard your car's plea for high octane fuel and pour in the cheaper alternative? Well, let's just say you're in for a not-so-pleasant surprise. Your engine may protest with that dreaded knocking sound, as if it's shouting, I told you so. But fear not, modern cars come equipped with protection systems that soften the blow of this fuel mismatch, preventing immediate damage. So you might be able to cruise along for weeks, blissfully unaware of the ticking time bomb under your hood. However, heed this warning. Prolonged use of lower octane fuel in a car designed for higher octane can have dire consequences. It's like forcing a marathon runner to survive on a diet of fast food. They might endure for a while, but eventually, their performance will suffer. The cost of repairing your engine will outweigh any fuel economy benefits you thought you were gaining. So, while pumping 87 fuel in a pinch might be a temporary solution, it's best to avoid pushing your luck for the long haul. But wait, there's more to this fuel saga. Enter ethanol-based fuels like E10, E15, and E85, with their own set of advantages and challenges. Ethanol, derived from renewable sources like sugarcane or corn, brings a greener and cleaner alternative to the table. It reduces our dependence on oil, lowers emissions, and keeps the environment in better shape than a Pilates instructor. However, it does come with a trade-off. Ethanol is about one-third less efficient than pure gasoline, meaning your mileage will take a hit. Additionally, not all cars are compatible with ethanol-based fuels, and finding a station that offers them can sometimes feel like searching for a needle in a haystack. Now, let's shift gears and discuss the diesel side of the story. Diesel engines, those beasts of power and torque, operate quite differently from their gasoline counterparts. So, what happens if you mistakenly fill a gas-powered car with diesel? At first, you might be able to drive on the remnants of gasoline in your tank, unaware of the impending doom. But once those last few drops of gasoline are gone, your engine will come to a screeching halt, leaving you stranded like a fish out of water. It's a situation that requires towing and draining the tank, a costly and time-consuming ordeal. But what about the consequences of putting gasoline in a diesel engine? Brace yourself because the outcome is equally grim. Gasoline is not designed for diesel engines, and its combustion characteristics clash with the diesel fuel system. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, and the engine will suffer the consequences. The combustion issues caused by gasoline can lead to engine damage, leaving you with a hefty repair bill and a whole lot of regret. To make matters worse, gasoline lacks the lubricating properties necessary for the fuel injector pump in a diesel engine. It's like expecting a ballet dancer to perform without ballet shoes. It's just not going to end well. The fuel injector pump relies on diesel fuel for lubrication, and gasoline simply can't provide that essential function. Without proper lubrication, the pump may wear out quickly, leaving you with an engine that's gasping for its last breath. So. Whether it's the wrong fuel octane or the wrong fuel type, the consequences can be dire. It's a reminder that our vehicles are finely tuned machines, designed to operate within specific parameters. Straying from those guidelines can lead to a symphony of engine woes and a dent in your wallet. 
In the grand scheme of things, it's crucial to consider the long-term implications of your fuel choices. While it may be tempting to opt for a cheaper or more readily available fuel, the potential damage and repair costs far outweigh any short-term benefits. Higher octane fuel plays a vital role in maintaining your car's condition, ensuring optimal performance, and reducing harmful emissions. And with the introduction of ethanol-based fuels, we have a greener option on the horizon, albeit with some limitations. As we ponder the consequences of misfueling, we can't help but consider alternative solutions. Electric-powered cars have been gaining traction as a viable and environmentally friendly option. They offer a departure from the fuel conundrum altogether, providing a clean and efficient mode of transportation. While electric cars may not be the solution for everyone just yet, they do serve as a compelling alternative worth exploring. So the next time you find yourself standing at the gas pump, remember the perils of putting the wrong fuel in your car. Choose wisely, my friend, and let your vehicle purr with delight as it receives the nourishment it deserves. Because when it comes to fueling our cars, knowledge and informed choices are the keys to a smooth and trouble-free journey. And there you have it, fellow automotive enthusiasts and fuel-conscious adventurers. The consequences of misfueling are not to be taken lightly, whether it's the wrong octane or the wrong type of fuel. So, before you grab that fuel nozzle, pause for a moment and make sure you're giving your car the right elixir it craves. Remember, knowledge is power. And as we navigate the ever-evolving landscape of transformation, staying informed is the key to making educated choices. So buckle up, ignite your passion for automobiles, and let's embark on an exhilarating journey together. Click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and join us here in Car Computer Exchange on this adventure. Until next time, may your fuel be the right fit and may your automotive experiences be nothing short of extraordinary. Stay curious, stay informed, and keep those wheels turning.